This is a story about a school, but not just any school. For one thing, it's about my school, Berlin Kids International, or BKIS for short. For another, it wasn't built by a city or a big company. My school was built by parents who came to East Berlin from all over the world a long time ago in the 90s. They didn't know it back then, but they would create the first truly bilingual English German school in the East. To understand why you need a quick history lesson. BKIS sits on a little street called Weinstrasse. It once had a big prison on one side and nice houses on the other. Then the war came and bombs fell everywhere. The houses left were in bad shape, really bad. Then a new government took over, the German Democratic Republic. Instead of building houses, they built a wall to keep people from leaving. But then they came up with a plan for Weinstrasse, lots of apartments and two new schools next to each other. One was named the Rosen Luxemburg Uberschule. The prison became its sports field. For 20 years, the school taught all of the kids who lived nearby. Until one night, the wall fell. Lots of families left the east, so there were less kids to teach, and Rosen Luxemburg was closed. Years later, new people moved to the former east, and they soon had kids of their own. That's when they saw there was no bilingual school for their children. And that's where the story of BKIS begins. When the wall fell down, there was this enormous um, uh, unbalance between, uh, uh, in the position of the schools in the urban area. So you had four um, bilingual primary school, state bilingual primary school in the west, and none in the whole center and east. I mean, they, they have Europa Schulen here, French and Spanish, but no English. It's like. What's the most important language in the world? I'm sorry, it is English. Dass es für uns eigentlich äh, nicht das Richtige war, ihn auf eine dieser teuren Privatschulen zu schicken. Weil das wäre doch wieder eine rein deutsche Sache gewesen, in der man einfach halt Deutsch und Englisch gesprochen hätte. Wir fanden diesen einfach nicht den bilingualen, auch den bilingualen, aber vor allem auch diesen internationalen Aspekt eine gute Sache. Ja, yeah, then I've heard that there, was plan, there were plans to uh, found a school. need to set up a school that was affordable, a school that was truly bilingual and a school that really catered to the bilingual families here. Ich finde das Konzept sehr schön. Ich finde überhaupt wichtig, dass es mehr freie Schulen gibt, also Schulen in freier Trägerschaft, weil sie das staatliche Schulsystem beflügeln. In dieser in diesem Punkte ist Konkurrenz gut, weil die Staatlichen Schulen sich bewegen müssen. I thought it was a brilliant idea. And I'm with it. The difference is that basically the motivation for this school is just parents' love. And the motivation for any other private of many other private schools is its business. They were not a state school. So that means that we do have to ask parents to fund their children's education. It's one of the reasons, but not the only one, for which we made this uh, cooperation, this agreement with Pfefferwerk, because Pfefferwerk is a company who had already managed a school for five years. Pfefferwerk Stadtkultur is ja der Träger der Schule, and Pfefferwerk is ein, eine soziale Organisation. Konkret uh, stellen wir die Lehrerinnen ein und erledigen quasi die ganzen bürokratischen, organisatorischen Angelegenheiten für die Schule. From the beginning, it was clear that we would not make profit. So we did all the calculations, we looked at what other schools charge, and we worked out how we could keep the fees for the school as low as possible. We're not about uh, elite, we're about uh, real people, you know, giving the children a chance to have a, a great education with a lot of work from their parents and, and in a great atmosphere. Um, just look at our school from the outside, you know we're not elite school, you know. We are in the school, even if we have so a great pedagogic concept, we need a building. 
Und äh, die, die klopften hier an, ob wir nicht eine äh, leergezogene äh, Bezirksgebäude haben. Und wir sind ja da sehr schnell dann auf die äh, äh, Weinstraße gekommen. Wir waren heiß drauf, ein Gebäude zu finden, das nur uns gehört, das mir, als ich das Gebäude hier gesehen habe und gesehen habe, dass hier niemand drin ist, dachte, das wäre es. Und es ist hervorragend gelegen. Die Auslastung der Schule war äh, bis zur Wende komplett. Aber dann sind ja die Familien weg, die haben die Kinder mitgenommen. Und dieses Gebäude, wo jetzt die Berlin Kids International sind, diese Schule war für den Abriss freigegeben. In the beginning it was a lot of just painting. Um, I cut the grass in front there. <lacht> the whole, I mean it wasn't grass, it was just a, it was a, it was just a garbage heap. It was a jungle. Physically, we are transforming this building um, with our sweat and tears <laughs> because what we're doing here is bringing in the future. We're not a school that teaches children English. There's lots of other schools that do that. I think it's a very important thing to do, but there's also a huge need for the children who are growing up bilingually to come to a school where they feel at home, where there's other kids who are just like them, where it's natural to speak two languages. It's all one. Um, the teachers are working as a team. They're working together, the German teachers, the English teachers. And it's not about um, separate languages, separate identities, separate cultures. It's more about the individuals and all these pieces that make up who they are. So it's very, very multicultural. But beyond that, It's very much child-centered, that is, that children really should be learning at their own pace, uh, that they should be able to define their own goals, and that they should be inspired to learn. Everything uh, is cross-curricular linked. Um, we do that at the beginning of the year, and then for each half term, we, uh, we map which topics we could do. We don't teach separate subjects. You know, you don't do English for 45 minutes and then switch to geography. You know, it's all done together. It's very cross-curricular. And I think that's where the German system needs to evolve. Um, I think they need to open up uh, to the idea of making learning more three-dimensional, I guess, um, and getting away from this, you know, paper and pencil kind of work. One of the main goals of the school is that we keep that amazing curiosity that children have and that they are encouraged to learn more and more and that we really uh, feed that curiosity and that ability to experiment and to learn. We don't want the kind of school where the children learn because the teacher tells them a certain fact. We give them the tools and we give them um, a way of looking at written words, written text, um, why they would even learn to write, what is it good for, um, how can it help them and what can they do with it. Learning by doing, learning because something doesn't work, but they are not told the answer by the teacher, they find the answer out for themselves. That way, um, education makes sense. Good schools, successful schools, are the schools where the community and the parents are involved in the school. This is a place where the doors are always open and we expect you to come in and we expect you to be here and we expect you to participate. Where we can all develop a concept and we can change it and we can talk to each other and work with each other and get to the best result. Creating this, this school really fits into the future of what, uh, what people are thinking in Berlin and in Germany in general. A group of parents were given this amazing opportunity to set up the ideal school, the school that you know, I would have liked to have gone to, the school that I could dream as the best possible school for my children and for everybody's children. Ich bin mit 
eine der Gründerinnen, <lacht> darauf bin ich stolz, von Anfang an. Wo starke Persönlichkeiten sind, wo Menschen mit Ausdauer sind, dann kommt auch irgendwann der Erfolg und das sieht man an dieser Schule besonders. When you have 20, 30 cultures instead of a monoculture, you have a richness that is unbeatable.